202, it's going to be uh, you and David Henry again. What do you think? Of course, myself. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like you two guys, tooth and nail, a couple of years now, it's been going back and forth. Um, over the last couple of years, I beat David three out of four times. Uh -huh. and, then Baltimore, and then Saturday, so it's going to be another defeat for him. And uh, right now, 202 division obviously has been making a lot of strides over the years. You know, the past two years, now they're going to have the finals at the arena, not just at the Expo Hall. What do you feel about the division as a whole since it first began? Um, I definitely feel that the division has grown greatly. You know, I think Robin Chang and the rest of the IFPB committee are doing a phenomenal job, you know, bringing it to the big stage, you know. And I think the 202 is getting a lot of respect especially now with all the competitors coming in to mm -hmm. the field. Yeah, I know. It's definitely grown a lot, and you have a lot of uh, qualifiers th throughout the year for the guys that come over here. Anybody that you have your eye on that you saw coming in this year that qualified throughout the uh, the season? Yeah, you know, there's so many great 202 competitors. You know, I have to say, at the top of the heat, definitely Jose Raymond. Uh -huh. you know, I think he's phenomenal. Um, not just as a bodybuilder, but as an individual, but as a bodybuilder, he's, he's the most complete, you know. Great, thanks. How do you feel about going into the show? I mean, you look really good right now. You look pretty ripped. Yeah, I feel like last year. I right? win the show, and that's about it. <laughs> and uh, it seems like you and Kevin English have a great uh, one-two battle going on. What do you see coming into this thing Saturday? Uh, it's a good one-two battle, but it'll be me first, of course. Uh -huh. And uh, you've competed in the Open before, now you're doing it at 202. What do you feel more comfortable in? Do you enjoy the 202 more? Yeah, of course. The, the diet, the diet's everything. Uh, the separation of who, who's uh, going to take it comes down to small details. So, uh, I think I've got that edge right now. Great. What are you looking at right now going into the 202? I took a look at Kevin English. He looks pretty good. Yeah, Kevin looks good. He's <laughs> uh, definitely oh, the... Uh, Favor, not hands favor, but I'm hoping to you know make a good showing, you know get in that top three, top four spot, uh -huh. and uh, make a good showing for myself as well. Uh, what do you feel heading into the show? I mean, uh, you, you look pretty good. You look pretty ripped yeah, and dried out yeah. right now. I'm, I'm ready. Uh, for me, I felt as if it was a matter of not sucking down too much and keeping some fullness. Uh -huh. um, conditioning's never you know been a problem for me. So you know, for me, I always feel like I might even flatten out a little bit last minute. So I yeah. try to hold on as much size as possible and uh, so far so good. And uh, what do you think, what would be a, a placing that you would be satisfied? Top three with oh, this? I mean, I'd, I'd love to win this show. Of course, of course yeah. But top three would be beautiful, yeah. Because it seems like it's the David Henry and Kevin English show. Somebody's got to knock one of those guys yeah, you can't down a peg. Out. You know, yeah. If anybody's, in all fairness, if anybody's slightly off, anybody can take any one of those spots. So Absolutely. It's, it's always up for grabs. Yeah. Great. Good luck, man.